So I want to show how to use uh, System Verilog to do structural modeling and to do so we're going to look at this example of a ripple carry adder. So here's the high level black box diagram of our RCA, our ripple carry adder. There's two 4-bit inputs A and B and we have a 4-bit output S along with a single bit output C0. And then over here this is the structural model Okay, the low level black box diagram and it shows how the adding circuits are interconnected uh, here's our half adder and then we've got three full adders FA1, FA2, and FA3 now this half adder is adding the least significant bits of A and B and then this full adder is adding the first bit of A and B uh, the second bit of A and B is this full adder is input and then the most significant bits of um, A and B are being added here for this full adder. Uh, then we have the S outputs of the adding circuits coming together for our main 4-bit uh, S output and then this carry out of our most significant uh, full adder is just connected right directly to the main carry out output. Notice that in between the carry out and the carry ins of the lower level uh, modules here we have variables defined. There's T1 here, T2, and T3. Uh, in System Verilog, when you're making connections between lower level modules, it's necessary to have these intermediate uh, variables. If you're making connections between the lower level modules and uh, the high level uh, inputs or outputs, uh, those variables are not uh, necessary. So here is the system Verilog code for structural modeling. So first of all, just like in previous designs, uh, the inputs and outputs are determined by you know, the inputs and outputs that are shown in your high level black box diagram. So you can see here we have inputs A and B 4 bits wide, output S 4 bits wide, and our output uh, C0 that's just a single bit. Now when you have these intermediate uh, variables here to connect the lower level modules that's what comes next in the code and you can see they're uh, called logic okay so logic and I just list them t1 comma t2 comma uh, t3 and then end it with a semicolon now the next part of the code is what actually does the uh, connecting of the lower level modules so let's look at uh, this line right here uh, HA that's what I named my um, lower level uh, design source, my half adder design source. So you can see right over here in the design source window or in the source window, you can see my uh, half adder uh, design file right there. And then here's the label. Uh, the label can be anything, but you do have to use the same name that you named your uh, design file. Uh, design source file uh, in this line of the code here. Then within the parentheses of this line, this is showing all the connections for this half adder module. So this dot A is referring to the A input of the half adder, and then inside the parentheses next to dot A, it's showing what it connects to. So this right here means that this input A of the half adder connects to uh, the zeroth bit of the A input. And then next comes B connecting to the zeroth bit of the B input. Okay, that's what this part of the code does. And then next comes the S output being connected to the zeroth bit of the S output. And then here, uh, this dot C0 is referring to the carry out of the half adder, and inside the parentheses, uh, means that it's connecting to this intermediate uh, T1. Uh, like I said earlier, when you, you're connecting between lower level modules, you can't do it directly. You have to go through an intermediate step. And you'll see how this connection gets finished uh, in just a minute. See, right now, with just this one line of code, uh, the carry out of the half adder is just connected to T1. It's not connected to this carry. Uh, input of our full adder FA1 yet, okay, but it will be shortly. Um, when we look at the second line here, 
Uh, FA is what I named my full adder design file and I labeled as in the diagram uh, the second uh, well first full adder second adding circuit uh, FA1 and now it's the same uh, you know as we talked about the half adder as far as how the connections are made so this dot A is referring to the A input of the full adder and it connects to the first bit of the A input and then dot B is referring to this B input and inside parentheses um, it's showing that it's connected to the first bit of the B input then dot C is this uh, carry in input of the full adder and it connects to T1 so that's how the connection between the carry out of this half adder and the carry in of this full adder is made is that it essentially takes two portions of the code. One portion of the code connects carry out to T1, then the other portion of the code takes this carry in and also connects it to T1. So now this carry in is connected to this carry out through T1. Okay, to finish um, this line here, we've got uh, the S output connecting to the first bit of the uh, sum output, and then this carry out C0 um, of FA1, it's connecting to T2. And um, it's the same process uh, for FA2 and FA3. Um, and, you know, once you have all your low level modules uh, connections defined, well, now uh, you've written the code for Verilog to. Uh, model this structural uh, diagram here. Now one uh, last thing to point out before uh, we end here is look over in the source window um, you can see that I have the RCA module which is this module we just went through that's uh, set as my top module and that's true in any structural model design that you want this uh, module that shows the connections between the lower level modules that needs to be your top module and you can see that my design files the half adder and the full adder uh, design files they're underneath so there's a certain hierarchy where um, the module that has the coding that shows the connections between the lower level modules that's going to be your top module and then your lower modules your um, you know lower blocks in the structural model they're gonna fall underneath that and you can see that I only have one full adder uh, design source but I'm using it multiple times right because I've got the three full adders uh, as part of my RCA and then when you do a simulation it's it's the same sort of thing that your sim file is gonna be the top module and you can see that when it instantiates the RCA, it puts it right underneath. So if you have set up um, your design source uh, files correctly and your sim files correctly, it should just look like uh, what I have here. Okay, everything should uh, line up and and be in hier hierarchy. Yeah, should be uh, in this hierarch hierarchy that you uh, see here.